Hello, good day. This is Mark Bakker again with a new video on the power of PowerShell. Today I want to uh, talk about PS drives. Those are, uh, let's see if we get uh, PS drives examples, you know that. So here we have like several PF PS drives and I think I already gave a demo about uh, what they all uh, do for instance but uh, I never showed an example on how to extend it so for instance I think you can do a new PS drive as well let's see what that can do uh, yes so for uh, let's simulate this scenario I have like a, a, a file system and I have a folder that I need to access a lot and it's a very deep path you know it's a git and it's somewhere here in the salt master uh, I don't care we're gonna create something here we're gonna create a new folder and inside of that we're gonna create a new folder really to simulate it a little bit and then can we create a new folder there it's gonna be horrible of course okay and imagine you need to CD to that every time, you know, CD every time to that folder, and you even need to put quotes around that. And okay, then you're inside of the folder, you can do your stuff, and then you go out of it, and you would need to go back, and you want to have an easier way for that, you know. Imagine you have your scripts here, or it can even be a network pod, even UNC pod, as long as you have access, of course. And you can map that. So you can, uh, now we have get PS drive. I'm going to show that again. I'm going to clear the screen first, by the way. So these are the drives we have now, right? And we're going to add one. So I'm going to add one called scripts, for instance. And I think it's new PS drive minus name. And I call it uh, scripts. You know, I find that an easy way. And I think that we need to provide a provider. So basically here you have providers, right? certificate file system environment we are using the file system we're gonna refer to a folder so we stick in file and we do tab completion file system and then we do minus and we do tab completion again to see what we need to fill more we need to fill in the root path and that root path that will be that this folder right that copy this path there we go and we will stick that in there and we'll see okay we have a drive now. So if we now do get PS drive, you see now we have like a script here. And you say, yeah, what's the use of that? Ah, it's this is the use. So you can do a CD scripts and then a colon. And now you're inside of that path, right? Here, that very deep path where we create a new text file here. Let me check that here. It's there as well, right? So and then you have like a quick access point to access like this very deep path. Imagine this as being a network folder with a lot of backslashes and DFS paths and, and God knows what in some companies, you know, you can have very long and deep paths. And you can refer them easily in PowerShell with uh, create your own drive, right? And then you CD into the drive and can do your stuff. You can do a new item here as well, of course, new item test.txt, right? And if you now go, now go here. It's here as well, of course. Right? If you delete it here, it's gone there. Okay. Um, yeah, that was it for the PS drives. Just a short demo on uh, how to make sensible use, I think, of PS drives. Uh, I think this is uh, yeah very nice to do it this way. No. Um, yeah. That was it. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.